Don from Suburban Tool. A couple of angle plates that we make. One with holes, one without. The question I have is, why do we need the holes in the first place? We put the holes in there because everybody wanted holes. Because we're not sure why, but they're in there. What you can do with them is you can put a flat strap clamp on there and you can clamp something on the face of it. You know, but ask yourself this. How often do you do that? Now, on the side here, you might want to put a rail on there. You know, you make a flat piece of steel. You know what I'm talking about, Glenn? Yeah. You take a flat piece of steel and drill a hole in it, bolt it on the side there so you can come up against it right. as a stop. Mm -hmm. But it's pretty rare that you're going to use it that way. Generally speaking, they're used with a regular C-clamp. So we're going to take a C-clamp, put our part on there, and machine it or grind it or whatever. The advantage of the holes, the way I see it, is this. It's a great collector of dirt, grit, and grime. So if you want grit and grime all over the place, collecting on your angle plate, and why is that important? Well, because if you're going to clamp something on it, you've got to clean it. The only way to clean it, if you're, if you're grinding something in the, in the surface grinder, let's say, and you've clamped something on here, the only way you're going to get it off is by taking an air hose and blowing it out. Because wiping it isn't going to do any good. Well, why do we want to put an air hose around a surface grinder? We don't want to do that. That's not a good thing to do. So you know what happens around a surface grinder? You're, you're, you're blowing grit around and it's getting up in the ways of the machine and all that stuff. Not a good thing. So I'm not personally, you know, when I was a tool maker, I didn't like holes in an angle plate. I rarely did I use them. And they caused more grief uh, than, than, uh, than the good that they could possibly do. So why do we have the holes in there? I don't know. So we offer this, this angle plate in both ways. And for some reason, this still is more popular. But, you know, you folks out there, explain to me the amount of times that you think you're going to use this angle plate with holes in it and how, how you're going to use it with holes in it. Again, maybe on the side. But really on a face? I don't think so. If I'm gonna if I want to grind something, let's say, I'm probably gonna put this like so on the magnetic chuck of the, of the surface grinder, and I'm gonna clamp my part on there. That way I know it's square and parallel. So I clamp it on, maybe let it stick out here. So now I can grind it parallel to this side. That's the way I'm gonna do it. So I'm not I'm sure as heck not gonna put a, a clamp on here fuss around. I'm going to have to fool around with a strap clamp, support it in the back, clamp it like so. That's more trouble than it's worth. I'm going to use a C-clamp, you know? So somebody tell me why. Why the heck do we have this thing with the holes in it? I guess just because we've always done it. But frankly, this to me is a better option for all the reasons that I mentioned. So that's my story, man. I'm sticking to it. Thanks for watching.